Good morning everybody, Uncle Jojo here. Um, today we are putting laminating. What we're going to do is laminate two 90 by 45s together ready for use as a bearer. Uh, we've had quite a few questions about the way that we go about doing it, the angles of our nails as we nail it together, uh, the glues that we use and all that kind of jazz. If you have a look over here, we've got air gun, um, air hose, Ultraset glue um, and the glue gun, which has already got it in it. First thing that we do is run our eye down our timber, our timber, and have a look for bows and warps down all of our timbers and make sure that we counter them. So if one's going one way, then we make sure it goes the other way. That one's pretty good. And then you mark it accordingly. Then we know that one's going that way. We apply the glue in a nice long snake. What we do is we counteract our bow. So we've got one timber bowing that way, one timber bowing that way. So then we attach them So we've got one bow going down, one bow going up. And then when we attach them, they can counteract each other. We start at one end. We get our timbers nice and flat and level. And we follow one side and make sure one side stays flat the whole way. The reason that we do one side and we keep one side flat is because timber will vary slightly and you can see it already has here and what we'll do is we'll just run the planer down and make sure it's nice and flat on both sides later. We then pin with our ham uh, nail gun. Now that we've done that, then we run across and we angle it both ways. So a nail goes, one goes facing upwards, the other one comes facing down. You can see here that we have nailed in opposite directions, keeping the nails no more than about 90 to 100 mil apart as you space them. So we need to put another one in here, another one in here, another one in here, keeping them about 90 mil the whole way. Um, staggering them and making sure that you go opposing angles so one nail skewed that way one nail skewed that way that holds the timber into place once we've done this whole piece of timber this side then we'll flip it over and we can do it all again and to run across with bugle screws and chuck bugle screws in about every 450 centers um, that also squeezes it together and holds it in a good spot uh, stops it from allowing to separate over time as well so we have got all our um, timbers laminated together nailed and glued um, wherever we needed to get bows opposing nails opposing as well uh, all of it's together and we've just finished cutting our first bearer to size we've got here um, a halving join and the other end We've got a halving join and we're joining exactly half over the stump. Otherwise we would have done a tooth cut. It's just really hard to do a tooth cut under a house. That's the only problem. If you've got any questions and queries about our bearer joins, then we've got a full segment on um, bearer joins that shows three different types of joins. There's a number of different types that you can use, but um, the three main types that we use these days. Yeah, till then.